What's up, everybody? This is Technoblast. Thank you for tuning in. And today, it's not very much of a fun video. This is uh, has been bothering me the last few days just because it's idiotic about what happened. So we have a delay with Cyberpunk for what the second or third time. And how do I feel about delays? I really don't care. I don't mind it if they delay it because you know. It's not ready. They delay it because, you know, it's not polished the way they think it should be polished. Then I welcome it. Let them delay it. Let them delay it another few months. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. But apparently it bothers some people to the point where it upsets them so much that this anger, this hate builds up inside them and they start making death threats to the developers. I don't understand what death threats are they, I don't understand what death threats are gonna do. It's not gonna make the game come out any faster. Death threats are not gonna rush to developers and say, hey, you know what? This guy over here gave us a death threat. I think we should hurry up and finish up the game and, and, and release it on time, like we said. Things happen, like COVID. Everybody's working from home. It is not the same as working at the office. I know because I work from home and I work better at the office. Things are more stable when at the office than being at home. Yes, it's fun being at home and working from home because you have everything here, but there's nothing like working at the office. And right now, the developer, they don't have that luxury right now. So what I've been reading is people are so upset that they're sending death threats and they had to address it. They had to address it, which they, they just had to, to make it a point to say, hey, we're not gonna stand for this. And I wouldn't either. So I'm curious about who these people are that make death threats, because I would love to hear from one of them and understand their mindset. I would like to understand what got them so riled up that they had to deliver some death threats. I mean, all of us who are more understanding that don't care about delays and are welcoming delays, you know, we all, all understand each other, but we don't understand the people who make these these death threats. And I want to hear from one person directly and understand why did you do that? Why? What makes you so special, so scary that you had to make a death threat to a developer over a game, over a fucking game? I get it. Hey, we have to wait another 20 something days for the game to come out. Oh, fucking well. There's plenty of other titles you can keep busy with. There's plenty. Let's not pretend that, oh, Cyberpunk's the only reason why you got yourself a console. Why, why you built yourself a PC to handle Cyberpunk. That was the only reason why you built a PC or bought a console. Let's not kid ourselves. You bought a console, you built a PC because you wanted to play games. And Cyberpunk just happened to be one of them. One of so many that are out there and available that, you, that could keep you busy and before you know it, Cyberpunk is out. But no, you have to be that asshole, the idiot that have to deliver these death threats to people over a game. Do you hear how idiotic that sounds? Death threats over a game. Like I said, a lot of things are happening right now because they're not working straight from the office or from their studio. They have to work from home. And guess what? I'm sure some of them have kids and they're probably not going to school and they're probably being homeschooled or doing virtual learning, which means they got to juggle between kids and getting, getting them focused on doing their homework and their work. And then when all that's done, focus on family life. Why do I say this? Because that's what I do. My wife works from, from, from home. I work from home. My kids are here at home doing school. And during the day, I have to dedicate two or three hours of my work time to the kids and get them focused on their work. Whether that's helping them with their homework, whether that's getting them to sit down, set up for Zoom, Zoom, Zoom classes, and whatever else comes with it. And then when that's done, you know, we're still not getting a break. When school's done, when work's done, now it's time, let's feed the kids. Let's pick up the house a little bit and hopefully have enough time to do what I like or what my wife likes and, and see if there's any time left in the day. Sometimes my wife will work till eight at night and she logs in at seven. That's what some of you don't understand who just sit at home on your asses, does nothing, don't have a real job, right? And all you do is play games and then one game is delayed because that's the end of the fucking world. If a day is de delayed, then you're going to give a, a death threat, right? So, and, and I'm being honest about, I'm wanting to hear from someone who actually gave a death threat. 
because you don't have to give your name. I don't care who you know about your real name or anything like that. If you want to give a fake handle, that's fine with me. But I will, I would love to hear from someone who actually gave a death threat and and understand your reasoning why why you did it. I want to understand. All right, guys. Look, just like what everybody says, the developers are people too. They're trying to juggle life. They're trying to juggle work life. You know, kids, everything at the house and it's not easy, all right? So things is gonna get delayed, it happens. If you can't deal with it, you find another fucking hobby. All right guys, tell me what you think. This is Technoblast, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.